ocelot killed by a driver off State Highway 100. Ocelots are endangered species here. Now less than a dozen remain here in the valley. Action Force Valeria Ponte met with wildlife officers on what they're doing now to conserve the few ocelots left alive. Vale. Well, Daisy, this picture right here is the one of the male ocelot that died on Highway 100 after being hit by a car. It's the third ocelot to die this way since the barrier was built on the state highway seven years ago. And now wildlife experts want something to be done to prevent more deaths. They roam around the field on Laguna Atascosa here in the valley. And from time to time, the ocelots cross to the prairies between Los Fresnos and Laguna Vista. But to get there, they must pass a dangerous path, Highway 100. And what's proven even more dangerous for the ocelots, a 6.5 mile long concrete barrier. This barrier was built in 2007 with federal funds to help decrease the number of car-related accidents and fatalities along this stretch of Highway 100. And although Texas Department of Transportation officials say the numbers have gone down, wildlife officials believe it's had the opposite effect for the ocelot population. Three ocelots have been run over by a car as they try to get across the barrier. The most recent death? this five-year-old male on July 9th of this year. Sone biologist Mitch Sternberg tells Action 4 News that ocelots won't jump the barrier, but they try to find an opening. I think it's definitely contributing to the deaths of ocelots as they're trying to move across the landscape. They run into certain kinds of barriers such as this one, and it's just not something they can get through or over very quickly. The majority of the ocelots in this country are located here in Texas, where there are a total of 40. They're mainly in southern Texas. Right here in the valley, as of yesterday, only 11 survive. Well, it's pretty sad for us because we're working with a whole bunch of partners in Texas and Mexico and Tamaulipas to try and restore the ocelot and get it off the endangered species list. And as long as roadways continue to be the leading cause for 40% of the ocelots for their death, uh, we just won't ever be able to reach recovery. Right now, TxDOT is working with the U.S. Official Wildlife Services to come up with a solution. TxDOT spokesperson Octavio Sainz says that three sections have been removed from the barrier for the animals to cross. They have also put fencing to direct the animals to the crossing. We have developed several uh, wildlife crossings. Now, is it foolproof? Of course not. But we are trying as much as we can to uh, accommodate and protect our Texas treasures. Now, TxDOT is asking drivers to watch their surroundings, have space between the car in front of them, and drive at a safe speed. Live in the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News. Thank you so much, Valeria. For